So all of us know uh, that friction is an evil friend, right? That's what we studied in our, in our 9th and 10th. Uh, so uh, you also know that if friction is not present on the floor, you cannot walk on the floor. Like you'll just be moving at one place, you won't be able to go ahead. Let's see, let's actually analyze the walk, analyze our own walk and let's see what is actually happening here. So uh, first of all, you have to understand if friction is allowing you to move ahead and you know friction is a force, then friction should also provide you some acceleration, right? And if you're getting accelerated, you should actually keep on getting accelerated. Like you, you cannot move with constant velocity, right? So if friction is in this direction, it should apply an acceleration of small f by m. If m is your mass, it should apply an acceleration of small f by m. And this acceleration should accelerate you in the forward direction. So how are you able to move with constant velocity? This happens because when you put your front leg in front, uh, when you put your back leg first of all, friction push pushes you in the forward direction. The moment you put your front leg, friction pushes you in the backward direction. So in one cycle of walk, you could say, Friction is just, just helped you move ahead, but it didn't help you accelerate. Now coming to the increase of kinetic energy. So if you started from zero velocity and then you attained some constant V velocity while moving, so uh, you had an increase of half mv square of kinetic energy if your mass is m. Where did this kinetic energy come from? It came from your internal forces, like your muscular forces. Remember, friction is not allowing, friction is not providing you this kinetic energy, like because the point at which the friction acts when you put your leg, that point doesn't get displaced. If the point at which a force acts doesn't get displaced, that force does no work. So friction doesn't do work to increase your kinetic energy, it's your internal forces. But interestingly, let's come to momentum. So if your velocity increased from 0 to V, your momentum increased from mv times, if your mass is m, from a 0 momentum to an mv momentum. This momentum was increased by friction because your muscular forces are internal forces they cannot increase your momentum. Only external forces can increase your momentum. So it was the friction here which increased your momentum. But interestingly, friction didn't, didn't increase your kinetic energy. Your internal forces increased your kinetic energy. And also, friction didn't uh, accelerate you in the forward direction. It acted in such a way that you just move ahead, moved ahead, but you didn't accelerate. So this is what, this is, uh, this is what our walk is.